Rush got juice like Solomon had it. But yet Solomon went up because of outlandish women. Strange women. He went up. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to sin. They caused him to sin. They took they took Solomon off the zone. So I mean listen man, the Lord would have us deal with our own people, man. Deal with our own women. Let the women deal with their own men. We know that. Nehemiah 13 verse 27 right. Shall we then hearken unto you To do all this great evil To transgress against our power should, In marrying strange wives Should we still do that? Should we still be transgressing the Heavenly Father? How you feeling? Like, Alright, nice The Lord said we should marry strange wives It takes us away from the Lord It ruins our mind Our perception and one of the sons of Jehoiada, the son of Eliashab, right. the high priest, was son-in-law to San Balak, San Balak. the Horonite, a, a heathen, a Gentile. He Therefore I chased him from me. Well, so he chased him from me. He chased him from him, man. Because this guy, he married a heathen. This guy married a heathen. So Nehemiah said he chased him from him, man. He said, back up, man. Get away from me, man. You want... Listen, you want, you want to throw dirt on the word of the Heavenly Father. Show what you got out. Jeremiah 11 and 11. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. They're not going to be able to escape. Read that good Jeremiah 15. You know what? And though they cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. He's not going to hearken unto them, man. He's not going to hearken unto the so-called Negroes, Wazis, and Puerto Ricans, man. Because you don't follow this word in truth and in sincerity. Read it out. Jeremiah 11 and 12. Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the powers, unto whom they offer incense. But they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. They're not going to save them in the time of their trouble. Want to know what the Baptist is going to do? Want to know what the Protestant is going to do? Want to know what the Episcopal Party is going to do? Want to know what... Man, man is going to do the rosters. What know what they're going to do? What know what the Muslims going to do? What know what all you denominations of religion going to do? When the fire come down upon you, man, they going to call on who? Who? Allah? Who? To save you. Show them what you got, huh? Jeremiah 11 and 13. For according to the number of thy cities were thy power. According to the number of thy cities, that's how we set up these idols. Read on, O Judah. And according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem, have you set up altars to that shameful thing? Altars unto that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. To burn incense unto Baal. So what? You look at any neighborhood of my people, so-called Negroes, his people, so-called Puerto Ricans, his people, the so-called West Indians. They got churches on every block. They got churches three on the same block. Four, three on, on, the, on the three, three on the four corners. Go down the block, you see three more. Before you finish the block, there's five more. <laughs> every, every block they got a church. They got an altar. Same thing, same thing, man. Say out, we know that. Jeremiah 11 and 14. Therefore pray not for this people. Don't pray for this people, man. Leave them hanging, we know that. Neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. Right? For I will not hear them in their time that they cry unto me for their trouble. The Lord said, not going to hear these people when they cry on them, man. They don't want no parts of them. You understand? They call themselves Baptists. They call themselves Protestant, the Episcopalian. They don't want the Lord not going to hear them when they call. But they put the Lord's words in the Bible. Show them what you got, huh? What verse is that? 15 verse, come on. Jeremiah 11 and 15. What have my beloved to do in my house? So what have my beloved to do in my house? The Lord asked. See, she have brought lewdness with many. See, you brought lewdness with many. You run around and play and call yourself Buddha. You are hanging out with your China man. Go to Africa. Shaka Shaka Lair. Emoja. Then you go, you go amongst the... Uh, who's the... Uh, 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 What's the, uh, the guy over there that works in Hawaii, the Fedex? Egypt! Go to Egypt! Now you're looking for the book of the dead! The Lord said, what? Has my beloved 
had to do in my house. CNC had brought losers with many. You cannot go and get first in Egyptology and expect to have this thing now packed, man. You brought losers with these Egyptologists, with the Rastafarians, with the, with, the, with the Muslims, with the Protestants. And you can't come back here and break this down. You don't have the proper understanding. You run lewdness with many. You mean all that. And the holy flesh is passed from thee. Jeremiah 11 and 15. What has my beloved to do in my house? What has my beloved to do in my house? Seeing she has wrought lewdness with many. She wrought lewdness with many. And the holy flesh is passed from me. And the holy flesh is passed from us. When thou doest evil, then thou rejoices. Then thou rejoices, man. The Lord quotes that. Hear the Lord say, the holy flesh is passed from us, man. But so called Negroes must see the Puerto Ricans, man, because you want lewdness with many. You make marriages with all the people of the earth. And you lose, and you lose out on your holy flesh, on your spirituality. You become flat, you become dead. You don't have no liveliness to you. You become dry like other people. You lose your rhythm. So, a lot of people that marry the Edomites, they forget how to dance. They forget how to dance. You see a brother married to Edomite for so long, pretty soon he start dancing like her. Forget how to dance, he's dancing. Man, you can walk through, come on, come on, come on. Sorry, man, don't worry about it. I'm trying to dance up there. That's that music. You know that show that you got. Jeremiah 15, 11. Right. The Lord said, Verily it shall be well with them, with thy remnant. Verily I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil. Come on, man. And in the time of affliction. Right? The Most High said it's going to be well with your remnant. It's going to be good for the righteous. It's going to be sweet for those of us that humble up unto the Lord. So, read on. Shall iron break the northern iron and the steel? Thy substance and thy treasures will I give to the spoil without price. Right. And that for all thy sins, even in all thy borders. Oh. Jeremiah, fifth. Jesus, let's go back to the mic. I hope you got some cold. All right, leave Jeremiah alone. You got heavy, man. You got that. You got that metal, guy. Malachi 2 and 11. Judah hath dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. Judah hath dealt treacherously, man. And an abomination is committed in Judah and in Israel. They dealt treacherously. We know that. 